Spasticity is an increase in muscle tone. The muscle contraction is uncontrollable. An increase in tone can prevent the functional use of your muscles, which prevents you from doing things such as walking or using your arms. Spasticity can happen any time there's damage to the brain or to the spinal cord. In Ms. Hunter's case, she had spasticity that affected the left side of her body because of a stroke. Because of the increased tone in her arm and her leg, she had difficulty with activities such as walking or things like dressing or feeding herself. We treated her spasticity in two steps. The first step was implantation of a baclofen pump. The baclofen is administered directly into her spinal fluid. The result is relaxation of her leg and also of her arm. The second step of treatment was myoblock injections. Although her arm was more relaxed and it rest more at her side, she still had difficulty with her fingers and she couldn't relax her grip. It was also very painful for her to try and extend her fingers with her other hand. We did the myoblock injections to target those muscles that controlled her fingers, allowing her to open her hand easier. I have left-sided weakness, paralysis after having a stroke. I am limited. I cannot open my hand at all. And my fingers are tightly crawled. Cannot open them at all. I'm going to focus on the, the muscles in your forearm that do finger flexion. Okay. So right now, it's, it's very difficult for me to straighten your fingers out like this. This is very tight. Tight right here. A little stick. I was dreading it, but it's not as bad as I thought. Mm -hmm. All right, needles coming up. We're all done. Yeah, I'm just going to clean good. you off now. Yeah, it's real easy. My arm once was contracted to here, now it rests on my lap. I don't have any problem with them being so tight. My fingers are more malleable. Before they were really stiff and hard. I couldn't move them at all without pain. Now I can move them freely and it's not such a struggle. Without. Okay. Ms. Hunter came in for her follow-up today. She's one month after her myoblock injection. She was very pleased with her progress. She did notice that she was able to relax her fingers more, especially if she used her other hand. It wasn't as painful for her to try and relax her fingers. I still see a lot of area where we can improve with her. Although her fingers are relaxed, she still has some difficulty moving them and she still can't open them on her own. And I feel like we have more that we can do for her. So this is definitely an improvement. It's a great improvement. Though. She was very pleased that she could put her wedding ring on, which I think improves quality of life a lot. They were locked like this for 18 months. And I couldn't move them at all. And now I can stretch them out. Look at that. That is wonderful.